many gods and I'm just, I, I feel so blessed. I'm mm -hmm. just very grateful. But I want to mention something. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the, the first aircraft uh -huh, uh -huh. landed when it was dark. Mm -hmm. So the light of, of the country of Ghana. Well, all sparkly and pretty. Oh, I, I, I'm so in love. I'm so in love. And uh, we, um, the, 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 the whole organizing committee mm -hmm. had the supplies. I don't, I don't know if they they are gonna admit it, but I was when when the plane was uh, landing, mm -hmm. I actually got a chance to sit with the pilot in the cockpit. Yes. Are you crazy? <laughs> yes. You weren't scared. <laughs> no. I, would, I would be so scared. <laughs> yeah. So I, I I was looking at the lights like mm -hmm. like really close. So that was well when I entered the, the place, mm -hmm. it, I was a bit scared, and nervous, but it was really fun looking at Ghana, really? like really with the lights and. Girl, wow. I'll let you tell it. I could never <laughs> go into the cockpit. What? That's so scary. But that that does sound fun. Yes, it's really bad. Me, I'm not a daredevil. <laughs> yeah, I watched you. I watched you on TV. You have a daredevil side to you. You're a brave. You're a brave lady. Wow. That you are. Thank you. You are a brave lady. So, um, I want to know. Yeah. All that we saw on TV. Yes. How much of that 100%. are we gonna see on stage? Wow, uh -huh. actually you're going to see more on stage than what you have seen in Thank the house. Thank you. That's all I want to know. <laughs> That's all I want to know. Okay. Yeah, because uh, <laughs> the, the person that was in the house is me, the, the person, mm -hmm. as, a, as a human being. I'm very laid back. I like my space. Very quiet. But the person on stage, on stage? Is, is a different, it's a total opposite of the person in the house. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's a lot of crazy guys. Well, a lot of a lot of energy, so mm -hmm. much energy. So, wow. wow. We're in for a treat because yeah. Lady made the person was very energetic. Every time you did a presentation, <laughs> I was just like, "What is she gonna do yeah, next?" Yeah, yeah. You guys got a little glimpse of the stage persona. Oh boy. Just a little bit, oh but boy. so that the real energy is gonna come out on stage. Oh boy. Yeah. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so excited. Yeah. Okay. So, Lady made the fans want to know, how did you get into music? Um. I'm from a very traditional, my, my traditional name is called, my traditional, yeah, it's called Shiwambo. Okay. And uh, I was brought up by my grandmother. So mm -hmm. first time I'm talking about my personal life. I know, right? Ah! So, so you, you guys are becoming big now. Round of applause, round of applause for Lady <laughs> talking about personal life, yes. Well, yeah, so my grandmother brought me up. Mm -hmm. So there was a lot of uh, cultural and a lot of uh, traditional values that have been um, Place unto me. So mm -hmm. back, because I was my, my, my growing up is between the village and the city. Mm -hmm. I'm basically an urban traditional girl. Okay. So at the village we used to have like a, 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 like community like a village community group, mm -hmm. a community group where we where we used to dance like traditional dances and sing traditional songs. And I was the, the group leader of the younger group. Okay. Back in the days when I was like. Seven. Seven? Six. Wow. Yeah, so I, I have a, a musical background. Mm -hmm. It's just that when I moved to the city, I moved to the city to learn how to speak English. So my my sound changed because now I started listening to the modern sound. Like what? Give like, me examples. Like uh, Celine Dion. Okay. I, I fell in love with Celine Dion. At the very you guys were singing end. a lot of Celine in the house. Yeah. I remember. <laughs> I remember. I hope people didn't get bored. <laughs> no, no, I, not I, at all. I love Celine. So when I moved to Vento, <laughs> which is the capital city, mm -hmm. you know, when I turn on the, the radio, I listen to the Mariahs, mm -hmm. the, the Celine, uh, Miss Brenda, the late Brenda Classy, yes. And all of this, you know, and that, I think, I, then I adapted. And then, so I took my traditional sound, and, and then obviously the, the, the lingua, the mm -hmm. language, and then the urban sound, and I kind of just, created this cocktail. I don't really have a spe specific name for my music. I can't say I do R&B or I do Afro pop or I do... I just, it's a cocktail. Mm -hmm. I'm very fearless when it comes to sound. I like trying out different sounds. As long as it, it can make me move, then I'm very fearless. When you when you were in the Big Brother house, were you itching to get out and create? Yes. That would I make was. sense. Yeah. I, was, I was, because we were not allowed to have a pen and paper. Mm -hmm. So like, even if you have an idea, because ideas, as an artist, you always have these little melodies in your head, and mm -hmm. you need to either put it down on paper or record it somewhere in your phone. Because since we're not allowed to have pen and paper and phone, mm -hmm. oh, 
it was frustrating, I can yeah, imagine. Yeah, it was really tough. Well, I hope you stored everything and you're gonna psh, yes, go into the studio yes, and just let yes, it out. Yes, um, um, I'm getting into the studio very soon, I think next month. Okay. To work on new material. Okay. So, yeah. Okay, now I know you said you started from uh, from the age of seven, yeah. and you're still very young now. Yeah. But you've accomplished a lot. You have some pretty, pretty uh, significant awards here. Yeah. Uh, one of them being the Channel O Africa Music Awards in the best category, in the category Best Dance Music Video. Yes. In 2008 and 2009. Yes. yes. Look at you, mama. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you, mama. What What inspires or drives your your music and your creation? I think um, I, I mostly things around me. Mm -hmm. For example, um, this this song Johnny. Mm -hmm. friend of, I wrote it with a friend of mine, Beth. I also the, 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 the thick voice you guys are hearing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's here with me, but he couldn't make it to the interview okay. this morning. But you guys will see him at the show. Okay, good. So we wrote the song together, and the song Johnny is actually a homeless uh, person. A homeless person. Okay. So he's from the like the village. Mm -hmm. So then he's so frustrated, he wants to support his family, so he decides, no, I'm going to the city to look for a job, for a better future, etc, etc, etc. So he comes to the city, and then he realizes it's not so easy. Mm -hmm. Like, he ends up on the street, he's homeless, so he wants to go back home. Okay. Johnny wants to go home. He wants to go back home, because life in the city is not so easy as you thought. Is this part of your story, too? No, uh, most of the stuff that... I write mm. uh, like stuff I observe. I like getting inspired by just life in general mm. or just things in general. Mm. Yeah. Do you ever crave going? Do you ever like yearn to go back home to where it all started? I or are you very much a city girl now? No, I'm I'm in between still. Okay, in between yeah, still. I, I can never uh, forget about my roots. I always go to 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 the village, to my village, uh, especially when I want to meditate. Mm. When I want to get inspired. I go back to my village town and just just to get out of city lights just to to get back mm -hmm. to to the dust wait where, where do you call it the dust you know mm -hmm. the raw dust mm -hmm. you go back those are my roots and i'm always very very excited to go back mm -hmm. yeah you're very much a uh, uh, a zen type person we saw it even in the big brother house mm -hmm. you crave the exercising the meditation yeah. Yeah. the being alone yeah is that when a lot of the creativity yes, you know gets done I, yeah i think i don't like being in people's faces or or <laughs> i don't like disturbing people mm -hmm. so my space for me is like it's just a way of like let me get out of your face or your space type of the only time i i maybe connect with somebody or have a one-on-one -on -one with somebody is when it's necessary mm -hmm. but when it's not necessary if i have nothing to say then I'm just like, okay, like yes. I, I disappear. Yes, you were very, very clear on that. Yeah. <laughs> and you, you know I have to ask you. Yeah. I have to ask you. Because you talk about, I don't like being in people's face. Now, one person that was in your face, and he's like, he's like a brother to me. Yeah. You and Keita, get him off. You know what happened? You have no idea. I met Keita at, at, uh, at Africa Music. Okay. Yeah, and then I met him at the Africa Music Awards. Yeah. And then I met him at the Okay, okay, so you guys have seen each other since we the, have, the show. We are, we are so cool, we have no idea. Y'all are so I crazy. Wish I can tease him because he's like a brother to me. We actually very much connected at the after party. Okay. They yeah, were yeah. laughing and just telling jokes and the girlfriend. Uh, easy. easy. Mm -hmm. So then it was the first time I was meeting Easy because mm -hmm. she didn't make she it didn't to uphill. Up so then I looked at Easy in her, in, her, in her eyes and I said, hey, honey, where did you get this devil from? <laughs> You get this crazy guy from her. Where did you pick him up from her? <laughs> oh, she, was just, she was just laughing. So I was, oh, it's just really great. Good, yeah. Good. So and then Kita, I was just like, you, oh, you. He is a crazy boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, he is. The, nice and crazy. <laughs> I love them both, Easy and uh, and uh, and, and Kita. Mm -hmm. And then yesterday, this uh, Global Media Alliance uh, mm -hmm. crew, mm -hmm. I feel like surprised. Huh? Good. Uh, Are they, they fun surprises? Fun surprises. <laughs> wow, well, yesterday, guess who came to meet me? I think who? It was, they organized DKV. Oh my oh. god! Because <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know he used to work for us. Wow! He used to work for amazing. us, yeah. Amazing. So I was like, oh, I give up. I give up. This is amazing. It was really great to see DKV. Mm -hmm. Oh, it was. Thank you guys so much. Mm -hmm. Oh. I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad. Yeah. It sounds like. You know, the experience, you know, you, you end up making connections for connections, life. And yes, that's, that's exactly. a good thing. And for me, I prefer, uh, you know, 
you know, when 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 connection happens, a spontaneous connection, a real connection happens, whether it's in the house or outside. If it's meant to happen, it will happen. Mm -hmm. But I personally prefer that I would have connections with people, especially outside the mm -hmm. house. Then it's really N more natural. Uh, natural. Mm -hmm. So. So, uh, having seen uh, DKB yesterday at the airport, it was just like, I was kind of really, really, really happy. Mm, good. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Now, I'm going to ask you this, because yeah. in your promo, yeah. your promo for Big Brother, you mentioned it. Yeah. And I was wondering, because you, you said, if I win, yeah. I'm going to buy a nice little cottage, a nice little house. Yay. Are you still paying rent, Lady May? <laughs> <laughs> I want to know. Oh, my gosh. How, how, how close <laughs> are you to owning a home that is very, very essential? I said, yeah. guys, very expensive. Expensive. Real estate is expensive. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. You know, actually, I have a home. Okay, good. I have a very good, loving family. My, mm -hmm. my, uh, unfortunately, my both my mom and dad passed away when I was very young. Mm -hmm. I guess that's why I don't talk about my personal life mm -hmm. so much because, as much as I have good memories, I also have not yeah. like very sensitive mm -hmm. memories. So I try not to talk about. I when when like now I feel very courageous. Good. I'm, I'm feeling very brave. Good for you. So I'm going to. I'm gonna mention a few things. So, so yeah, so bear with me. Okay. Yeah, so I lost my parents at a very young age, and then uh, so my aunt, my namesake, and, uh, and my real mother took care of me when I was young. So I have many homes. So right now I have a home, a very good, good home. Good. I guess I was just looking for like a cute little mansion. Oh my we, gosh. We all are. We all are. <laughs> she said, I don't want to leave the house. <laughs> Biggie, just give the money to somebody else. Just give me this the house. house. <laughs> oh, I like this house. You were so cute. One of the one of yeah. the most touching moments yeah. when you were very very vulnerable yeah. in the diary room was when Barb's left. Oh yes, for yeah. some reason um, I don't know. We we connected mm -hmm. with some, some level, mm -hmm. you know. That, there was a little spontaneous uh, connection there, mm -hmm. and I don't know. I just. You know when, when emotions happen, they just happen. Yeah, yeah. I'm a, I'm a very tough cookie. Mm -hmm. yes. But if if if, I, if it's time to cry, mm -hmm. I don't I don't try too hard not to cry. Mm -hmm. I just let it. You happen. own the emotion. Ah. Mm -hmm. But in the diary room, the tears decided to come out. I was like, okay, fine, fine, <laughs> come out. You know. You guys should see her. You know how she throws her hand in the diary room. She's doing the same thing in the studio. I love it. I love it. Wow. Awesome. Yeah. Now your fourth album. Tiger Ambition, yeah. and I I love that song. Thank you. It was when you had on the black, it looked like yeah. black body paint, and you performed it. Yeah. I yeah. said, this song is bad. <laughs> Little yeah. did I know, it's actually uh, the, title the title of the album. Yeah. I love it, I love it. Yeah. Why Tiger Ambition? Um, tiger Ambition, the ambition of the tiger. Mm -hmm. Fearless ambition, good ambition. I believe in life there's bad ambition and good ambition. Okay. I think bad ambition is just having all kinds of negative, negative, mm -hmm. bad intention, etc., etc., et ego, whatever, all of that falls under that list. Mm -hmm. But type of ambition is good ambition. So everything noble, uh, ev giving back to the community, mm -hmm. etc., etc. et cetera, uh, just doing everything right, being a good girl. Mm -hmm. Type of ambition is just uh, being fearless to, 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 to dream, you know, dream, accomplishing your dreams, working extra, extra hard to accomplish your dreams. All of those good things mm -hmm. that happen in one's life, in everybody's life, that for me I feel like that is kind of mission. Fear, being fearless. Although you can be in a messed up situation, a difficult situation, mm -hmm. the fact that you can pick yourself up again, that is kind of mission. You are such as, 